Okay, hello and welcome to today's video. Now, today I'm gonna to be putting a five inch up against a six inch using the exact same lithium ion battery. Now I'm doing this test because yesterday I flew the six inch with a dual lithium ion battery, both of these guys in parallel, and it flew for 19 minutes. Now, I was expecting it to fly a little bit longer than it, but I think the weight of these two batteries was having a big effect. Uh, but one thing I wanna compare is because I flew the five inch before on one of these batteries and it flew for 17 minutes. So two minutes difference on a bigger quad with twice the capacity. Not sure if it's worth it. So what I wanna do is now try them both with a single battery setup and see if when this is on a lighter weight setup, it improves that efficiency. So let's just get straight into it. Start off with a five inch, do a quick benchmark run again, just so that I can fly both of these guys on the same day in the same conditions, basically like at the same time. So we'll go again with the five inch just to double check what we get today. And then we'll try with the six. The five inches all juiced up, ready to go. Let's see what happens. Okay, so taking off now. So I'm going to do exactly the same as I did the other day with the six inch. I'm just going to run laps back and forth along this beach. And I'm going to try and keep things as efficient as possible. Okay, so now we're in a pretty steady cruise and we're pulling 10, almost 11 amps, doing 50 k an hour. We are dropping altitude slightly, so I'm just going to raise the throttle a touch. And yeah, we'll just see what we do. So I'm gonna just run back and forwards and I'll probably just skip this section to the end unless I have anything notable to talk about. And then we'll see what the total flight time is and also the total distance covered because that's gonna be interesting to compare to the six inch. Cause yesterday we flew something like 22.5, uh, 22.3 kilometers total flight distance, which is pretty impressive. So yeah, let's jump to the end and see what we got. Yeah, I think this GPS unit is a bit cooked. If you see in the top right hand corner, you see it's just like flickering between all different kinds of numbers. I'm gonna have to replace this one soon. It used to get something like way over 20 satellites locked every time, but I think maybe it's taken a knock or something and um, it's gonna need to be replaced. Okay, my voltage is now getting quite low We're at 2.9-ish 2 per cell. 17 minutes, 30 seconds. So I'm going to start bringing it closer in because I'm not too happy that I believe what I'm seeing here on the voltage screen. So I'm going to bring it in now to land. And I'm going to do exactly the same here with the 6-inch. Now, the one day that I decide to do back-to-back -back efficiency testing, I don't bring my neck strap. <laughs> okay, let me just catch this fella. Okay, let's just have a quick look at the stats screen while this is beeping away. Quickly restart the recording. Total flight time, 18.15. Uh, total distance, I'll have to go back and check. I'll put that on the screen just here. But yeah, we flew a little bit longer than before. So let's see what the six inch does now as just an efficiency comparison. Okay, we've got the six inch now loaded up with exactly the same battery. It's the same conditions, same camera angle. Everything's the same. Let's see how we do. Now I don't have that much battery left in my goggles. So I'm hoping that this doesn't fly around literally forever, but we'll see. Okay, let's go. So the thing is, when it comes to the six inch versus five inch, like I've mentioned in previous videos, six inches is only one inch extra on the propeller. It doesn't sound like a lot, but the actual propeller itself has something like around 42% larger disc area. And that's the amount of area that you can basically lift with. So a six inch drone has a lot more lifting power than a five inch. And because of that, you can basically fly at a lower throttle value and therefore be more efficient. So let's have a look when we're in a normal cruise. Before we were pulling, I'll throw it up on the screen, but I think it was around 20 amps. And now we're pulling quite a bit less, about half. It's actually very similar to what we were pulling with the five inch. So yeah, let's tootle around a bit. How does it feel on this? It definitely does not feel as heavy and you can I can hear anyway, it's not screaming as much. Yesterday I could really hear it screaming away as it was trying to hold those two honking batteries in the sky. But today, not so bad. And the six inch is definitely quieter than the five inch. I really can't hear it. I think the bigger propeller just has a lower tone, at least a more discreet sound anyway. So I'm gonna continue flying around a bit. I'll chip in if we have anything notable or when we get to some certain benchmarks. But um, yeah, let's keep going. Something that I have noticed, I think I need to trim the sticks on my, uh, calibrate the sticks on my controller. It looks like the nose is pitching down ever so slightly on its own. So we'll have to sort that out. And 
Sort of initial impressions, it does feel like it's pulling slightly less amps overall than the five inch. Now the six inch should also be a bit more efficient in a faster cruise than the five inch. So that might turn into a longer distance covered, but it'll be interesting to compare the distance covered today, distance covered yesterday, and also the distance covered by the five inch, along with all the other statistics. So um, yeah, let's keep flying. Okay, so I'm just gonna jump in now to give you a quick update. We're at 15 minutes and 50 seconds. Battery is just above three volts per cell. So we're coming up to 16 minutes. So we have basically two minutes more to fly to beat the five inch. And I think it's actually gonna be incredibly similar when it comes to total flight time. So yeah, it's really quite interesting. And the total distance I've covered today is gonna be nowhere near as much as I did yesterday. I think with those two batteries, with those pulling, uh, maintaining a higher amp draw, I must've been flying a hell of a lot faster because I'm currently up to about 16 kilometers total distance flown. So let's just keep bringing it up and down. We are pretty close now to being out of power. Now is the five inch gonna have outlasted the six inch? Now that would be interesting. <laughs> Cause then what does that mean for the six inch? Is it not that efficient? Is it a myth? I guess we're soon gonna find out. The goggles battery is gonna have held up 15% left, which should be okay. 2.9 volts coming back against the wind. I'm gonna have to keep it close to me now just so that we don't end up going to uh, Sag City. Keep it efficient around here for a while. We can st uh, still keep flying for a minute. It's not too bad. See if we can at least match the five inch because if we can't, then that's gonna be uh, questionable really. 2.8. I'm gonna have to bring it in to be fair. Yep, we're getting a bit of sag there. I'm gonna have to bring it in. So we're down. Let's have a look at the final statistics. Okay, let's get back into the goggles. Total arm time, 18 minutes. Uh, total distance covered, again, it doesn't show me, but 18 minutes flown, which is interesting. Let me just quickly go back to um, have a quick look at the five inch statistics and let's just see what it actually was so we can compare can't remember off the top of my head. So the five inch flew basically exactly the same time, 18 minutes, 15 seconds. I mean, 15 seconds is basically like the same. Although the five inch, I must've flown that down quite a bit lower. We used 3,900 milliamp hours. Let's have a quick look at the total distance flown for the five inch. So the five inch flew a total distance of 16.7 kilometers. Now, how far did the six inch fly? Did we manage to maintain a higher overall speed and therefore fly a further distance? Not sure, but we'll soon find out. 17.6. So 17.6 versus, was it 16.5? Let me double check. <laughs> okay, 17.6 versus 16.7. So the five inch flew for, you know, I don't know, we'll call it a kilometer less for keeping things easy. So six inch managed to fly further it flew for a slightly shorter period of time so we were maintaining a higher overall speed but with the dual battery setup we flew like um five kilometers further in the total distance so running that parallel setup definitely has its advantages but i think maintaining a higher speed as you're cruising but when it comes to flight time it was only one minute longer in the flight time but that's just, I don't know, there's, a, there's just way too many variables going on here. There's the extra weight of the battery, the higher overall speed. And when it comes down to the crunch, it doesn't seem like there's a massive difference in them. But obviously, if I was to stick two batteries on the five inch, I think we would have a serious issue. So I think what, six inches like on the cusp of where having extra heavier batteries starts to make sense. But yeah, this has been quite interesting testing actually. So there's not a massive difference between the two. But um, if you want to cover longer distances, then paralleling up two batteries is the way to go. So yeah, that's basically going to be it for this one. Again, just another little interesting thing while I'm out doing a bit of testing. It's interesting for me. It might be interesting for one of you out there. If it's not, then, well, I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to pack up, head home, because I'm extremely tired and i got a long flight tomorrow. So catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.